Hello and welcome to your third FanCade scripting tutorial. In the last tutorial we learned about basic math and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about control wires. Uh, so before I explain what control wires are, I'm just going to show you an example of uh, of something uh, of like a situation where you want to use them uh, because they're they're a little bit difficult to explain just using words. So um, let's just get some uh, variables here. We're going to need an ad block as well and a number. Now, uh, let's do something a little bit uh, weird here. Let's make a variable called x. Uh, and we're basic. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to make an, a variable called x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take x, add 1 to it, like this, and then set that to x. Now, uh, so the thing that's going to happen here is that uh, x is, x's default value is 0, right? Uh, so it, then it adds 1 to x, and then it sets that to x. So x is now equal to 1. So uh, you might think that this script is actually going only going to run once, but in fact, it's going to run 60 times a second. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I mean right here. So if I hit play here, you'll notice that X is actually increasing over time. So why is this happening? Well, in fact, this script right here is actually not just running once, it's actually running 60 times a second. And that applies to all the scripts we have uh, we've done uh, in the past uh, tutorials. They've actually all been running 60 times a second. Um, all script runs 60 times a second. So, and since uh, we have uh, a value here, that's basically adding one to itself and setting that to itself 60 times a second. This is going to increase by 60 a second, right? Now, this is where control wires come in because let's say you only wanted this bit of script here to only run once. Now, that's where these two come in, like I said. Uh, if anything is wired, now since nothing is wired in here, this is going to run every 60 times a second. Um, but if you wire something into this before wire, it basically means that that wire has to execute before the script will run. Let me show you what I mean. If I go back here, uh, there's actually a category called control, uh, which contains a bunch of blocks used to control your script with. This right here is called a play sensor. And the play sensor looks like this. It also has a before and after wire. <clears throat> um, but this script executes this yellow wire uh, at the beginning of the game, when you hit play. So if we do this, it's only going to uh, run once, as you can see. Um, so this uh, script block is is executing this yellow wire uh, on the first frame of the game, uh, on the very first frame. Uh, so as soon as you hit play, it, it runs the script once, but then it will never run again, basically. I hope this makes sense to you. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, basically yellow wires are used when you only want scripts to run some of the time instead of all the time. And that's what they're used for. Uh, like in a situation like this, uh, this script is only running once. So yeah, we're getting x, uh, x is equal to one and so on. Uh, so yeah, um, I could also do something else here. If we open up the, uh, if you if you look inside control again, um, let's take a look at this block right here, a touch sensor. Uh, the touch sensor 
uh, executes its yellow wire. It has a yellow wire too, uh, called touched. And now if we plug this in here, uh, this script is now going to run when this, this block detects a touch from the user. When the user touches the screen, it's going to execute the yellow wire. So if we hit play, <clears throat> so right now X is zero, and now when I, as soon as I tap the screen, it starts increasing, and when I release, it stops increasing. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you could all, you can also with the touch sensor, you can actually change uh, how, uh, what it registers. So right now it's set to touching, as you can see down here in the bottom right corner. Uh, you have some settings. Um, first off, you can change how many fingers uh, you have to use to uh, to execute or to run the script with. So if we set this to second, I actually have to use two fingers to execute the script with. There's also this other one, uh, which is set to touching right now. If you tap on that, you can set it to begins or ends or touching again. Those are the three options. Now begins means that it will only run as soon as you hit the screen. It, it's going to run. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me tapping right now, but I'm, I'm tapping and then it uh, adds one to X and then it, it doesn't do anymore. It waits for the next tap, basically. Now if I set this to ends, this is going to run when I release my finger. So I can tap. And then if I release, it's going to increase by one. So that's another use for control wires. Here's something else you can do. Uh, we haven't uh, taken a look at this before, but this right here is called play sound, and it can be used to play uh, sound effects in your game. And uh, this is it, and uh, it doesn't run uh, if if nothing's connected to its yellow wire, it's not going to run at all. So if we plug this touch sensor in here, uh, even, and we hit play, and we start touching the screen, it's going to play a little sound effect. Now if you tap on the, uh, the, uh, this is play sound block, uh, down here in the bottom right corner, um, you can change the sound effect it uh, plays. Now there's a lot of bunch of different options here. You have uh, a piano, a flop, a boom, a jump, a squeak, a button, uh, a bunch of different things. Um, let's go with a boom. So when I hit the screen, it plays a boom. All right. Now, let me show you another use for the yellow wires. See, the yellow wires aren't just used for uh, determining when script is going to run or not. It actually also determines the order in which script is going to run in. See, uh, all script runs in a specific order. Uh, and it, no matter if they're uh, plugged in with a yellow wire or not, they're going to run in, in a specific order. Uh, the order script runs in is top to bottom, left to right, which means that if we had, uh, let's say, four script blocks or four uh, different scripts right here, uh, it's going to run from top to bottom, left to right, which means this script is going to run first, then this script is going to run next, then this script, then this script last. Okay, now, unless, a, uh, unless uh, a yellow wire is plugged in to these blocks, it's going to run in that order. However, you can change this order simply by putting in a yellow wire, like I said. So you could do something like this. So now when the game plays, it's going to run this script first. Uh, since this is on the top of the script, this is going to run first, and then that's going to execute this script. 
And now let's say, well, let's say we wanted to play this script after this script has played. Well, if we take the after wire and plug this in here, it's now going to run this script, then this script, and then we can plug this up here and then we can plug this up here or something like that. And now you have like a network of wires and this is not really a good example because <laughs> these, these scripts don't actually do anything. Um, but yeah, it, just to give you an example, that's, that's how you order scripts. Now, if we had a duplicate of this, like this, uh, since this play center is on the top of this one, it's going to run this set of script first before this script runs. Now you might be wondering, well, why are the orders, the order in which script runs, why is that so important? And that's a good question, because sometimes it actually doesn't really matter which order it plays in, but in a lot of situations it does matter, and it's actually very important. Uh, let's take a look at an example right here. I'm just gonna grab some blocks real quick. We're gonna have some variables. We're gonna have some, uh, let's take add and multiply and number. We're gonna need a play sensor too and an inspect to view the values. All right, that should be enough. Okay, so let's say we define a value, a variable. Uh, let's call it hello. And we're gonna give it the value of not five. <laughs> I, I always do five, but let's do something completely different. 20, okay, there we go. Um, now we've defined uh, the value hello, which has a value of 20. Now let's do some, something. Let's add a play sensor because we're only gonna do this once. And we're basically gonna multiply hello by two. So let's do that right now. Uh, so if we take hello and multiply it by two, we should expect hello to be 40 after this operation right here. So let's take a look if that's true. Let's choose the copy and paste feature because it's faster. There we go. All right, so if we hit play. Oh, did I do something wrong? Oh, oh okay. So the play sensor, um, <laughs> hold on a second, what's going on here? Okay, so I think the play sensor is running first before anything else. Um, Yeah, I think that's the case. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it now. This, th okay, th this is exactly because this uh, bit of script is actually running 60 times a second. So, and this is only going to run once, which means that when, when after this has run, hello is, <clears throat> hello is actually going to be equal to 40, but then this script is gonna run again, and it's just gonna set hello to 20 again. Uh, however, we can fix this by doing this. Then it's only going to inspect hello after this is run, if that makes sense. But if we hit play now, you can see that hello is actually equal to 40 now. All right. And this is because uh, this script, yeah, this script is running first because it's on top. It's running before this script runs. Okay. Now... What if we did this? Well, in this case, this script is now going to run first. Uh, and since we haven't defined hello yet, uh, this is going to be, hello is going to be zero because that's the default value. Now, multiplying zero with two, that doesn't really work. That's just gonna be zero. Uh, so it's gonna set hello to zero and then it's going to say zero down here. And then after it's done all that, it's going to set hello to 20. So if we hit play now, you can see that hello is zero right now. And if we move it up on top, it's gonna to be 40. Now, of course, you, 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 you could also uh, put it down here. 
now it's zero. Then if you did this, it's it's this play uh, script is not going to run before this script has run. So this is going to run first now, and it's going to be 40. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.